So I'm going to reference uh, UAL flight 123. Um, all right, so here's the thing. The master terrorist, you know, I know. Now you think this is all fiction, but that's what the thing is. The, the master terrorist likes fiction, just like I do. But they've constructed at great expense what I call the novel. An exotically constructed nuclear weapon. All right, so uh, this weapon has a potential yield, according to Lawrence Lubomore, of 50 megatons. It's very small. And here's how it's constructed, essentially. It uses a very, a relatively small amount of plutonium. It uses an isotope of hydrogen, hydrogen seven, in a super cold uh, container. It uses uh, a one-time uh, super powerful laser. What happens is you take this, you take this bomb, this, really this bomb, up into orbit. It escapes orbit. It, now, there, the reason there's a wiki edit of, uh, of a certain individual, uh, uh, I didn't quite catch it, but anyway, it said the, the editor is escape orbit. So that's key. Six days. So, you know, there is no seventh day. This is like the apocalypse. So the idea is, and this has been their plan for a number of months now, uh, to take one of the pre, one of the um, copies they have left and put it aboard uh, one of these uh, uh, rockets, these privately owned rockets, privately financed rockets, and shoot it into orbit. And it won't go into orbit. It's going to go all beyond orbit. It's going to, then it's going to loop around, drawn by Earth's average gravity. And eventually, they, with close calculation, um, detonate over North America, basically producing an EMP of massive proportions, which of course wipe out every electronic thing, every grid, pretty much the entire plant, the entire North American continent will be reduced to the Stone Age. Sort of like, uh, you remember Mays, you know, said bomb the Vietnamese back to the Stone Age, or no, bomb the Koreans back to the Stone Age. But anyway, that's right. It it'll be it'll be back to back to the Stone Age. So I think this is going to happen. I think it's it's really going to make an effort. The reason is is that they acquired the plutonium of all places in Boston. Now I know this is this is a story, so don't 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 pin me down. Hold me to it. If you take me to jail, you have to prove that I wasn't making up a story or a screenplay. But. I was there in Boston in 2009. The president came into Boston to help us uh, candidate uh, a governor. And uh, from some guy with a big nose and a pedigree was able to uh, manipulate the uh, system. And most people don't know this, but Air Force One actually carries a nuclear weapon on it to deflate, deflect, to protect. And um, the nuclear weapon evidently was uh, activated, and so they had to jettison the uh, nuclear weapon into the Charles River. And then what happens is it gets down into Charles River, but some, they already know that it's going to go there, and that you have these people recovering the weapon. The, the weapon has very, very, very good quality plutonium, the best. So anyway, and I was there because I, well, I. I noticed a nest and rat were looking around uh, for the weapon because it was actually not in the river in the river anymore, but it was somewhere else. Now it was taken, in my opinion, it was taken to 17 Court Street to the basement, and then it was loaded onto a, a truck going to Oklahoma. I saw the truck. I notified the FBI, but they didn't find the weapon. So now they have this fucking plutonium, of very high quality and they have a weapon, and they have a weapon with 50 megaton yield. So basically, if you're in North America and you have a goddamn cell phone, you just might as well forget about that motherfucker. In a few days, you'll be fucking have nothing. You have shit. Operation Officer Wimple, also known as the God Devil.